It's time to welcome back Crystal Castles. Do dear for Record Store Day, which is this coming Saturday, the 17th of April, was a fantastic way to kickstart the project. You may hear that again. But in the meantime, the hottest record in the world, complete with this. <laughs> exactly, you should laugh. It's all about to kick off again for you. So tell us a little bit about this song, Celestica, Ethan, that's the hottest record in the world for us right now. I mean, because I know you, you did the album in different parts of the world. And give us the backstory of where this one features on the new record. Track two on the new album comes right after a uh, really fast embrace of song called Fainting Spells. So I like the mix of uh, prettiness and recorded the vocals in London in Paul Epworth's studio. Nice. Man. You're about to hear the end result right now. Hottest record in the world. It's Crystal Castles are back. This is Celestica. This is Thursday night. Y'all better get ready. And it's about 7.30 p.m. And my man Zane is about to put on the <gasps> hottest. Put, sure, put it on, put it on. That's Celestica, the hottest record in the world right here on Radio 1 from the brand new Crystal Castles album, full of warmth and depth. And it has lots of sort of intense moments. Like we played Do Dear the other night on the radio, and that's just an insane 90 seconds. What were some of the sort of inspirations behind behind this direction? I mean, was it anything specific or was it a mood? I mean, where did this kind of sound come from on the new record, Ethan? Um, the evolution of uh, who we are as people. It's just us following our genetic code. 
trying to capture the sound of things breaking down. So you guys have played some of these new songs live already, Ethan, right? You did a show the other night in, in, in Canada, is that right? We, uh, we did a practice show in an art gallery in, in Toronto. I heard it was run. insane. I heard it was insane. Just try and put us in the picture about, about, about the show from what you saw and what you experienced. Well, it was a huge mistake booking this, this art gallery. <laughs> Why? Um, even though we, we played a lot of the songs for the first time, it was actually white noise that was coming out of the speakers. <laughs> But, but no one seemed to care. <laughs> everyone, everyone was happy with our white noise song. They're happy with the new sound that you guys have developed on this new record. <laughs> it just must be so yeah. depressing that you've developed all these incredible songs that come with so much depth and beauty, and the first thing anyone hears is just static. Yeah, it was, it was purely static. It's so super exciting to have you know you back with this with this new record. And I know that you obviously took part in Record Store Day by donating Doe Deer, giving them a chance to sort of use that to promote you know the local record stores and how important that is. Um, to do that, I'd imagine you have to have an experience like that yourself and being a music fan tell us a little bit what it was like you know in your local area and 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 what saved you you know what record stores did you used to go visit to and what did you love about it i used to uh, shop at this uh record store called uh who's emma goldman it was named after a 50s local anarchist so they it used to be a record store named after her in her memory and they would get really underground vinyl from bands that could only afford to press like a few hundred seven inches and you know we would go there looking for these new records that if you didn't buy when you saw them you would never see them again <laughs> that's great i mean that is a classic example of why you know i think the the idea of a record store being a place where communities go to discover music and be recommended things and it, it's a huge part of well certainly from what you know when i was growing up and it's something i think it's still really crucial that you don't get on the internet uh-huh. well listen thanks very much for some time and most importantly thanks for you know much better music than the first record and i say that with you know as a fan of the first album but i'm s- so excited to be able to play as much off this new album on radio and and online as possible and really appreciate you know the record that you guys have bought for us so thank you very much that's amazing thank you